Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Just listening to the radio here, running the air conditioning. Um, kind of a cloudy, it looks like storm is on the way at the tiny house tonight. I'm staying over here, it's Friday. I'm gonna turn the radio down just a second here. Let me grab it. So, um, leave it to the Bonehead administration to royally screw up even more things during their term. Um, Afghanistan is now a disaster zone after the U.S. has left. Um, and yeah, so all that you guys spent all that all that money there, all that time there, and now you just left and give it away like Vietnam. So yeah, it's pretty pathetic. Um, this this dude that stole the election got into office via the Chinese and Dominion. Um, uh, I'm not saying he did directly. I'm saying he was planted because he's very controllable because of the dirt they have on him and his son. Um, the guy's an obvious dementia patient. Um, he also is whining to OPEC about gasoline prices. Now, remember guys, before uh, the election was stolen from Trump, the, Ameri the United States was oil independent via Trump, which means you were the biggest producers of your own supply of oil in the world. And then when Bozo and the Demo Rats got in and stole the election, rigged it with Dominion, they reversed everything Trump did. And now, as soon as he got in, um, like I've been saying, gasoline prices have shot up and are going to continue to rise. Disaster. The guy, the Democrats are a walking disaster, guys. Just horrendous. They spent way overspent the money yet again this term alone. 9.3 trillion and counting so far, which also has raised in uh, inflation quite a bit. Which what does that what does that mean for you and me? What's the big deal, Rob? You're just talking trash because you don't like them. No. It means we will be permanently stuck paying higher stuff from here on out because of inflation. Because they borrowed more than they should have. Okay? And instead of dealing with the issues like China, which should be a crater right now because of what they did to the planet, we are because China is controlling the puppet show in DC um, we are witnessing the basically the TNT uh, demolition of the country and our country over here in Canada now how is Canada being affected well we're your biggest trading partners um, anything you guys do over there normally our D bozo prime minister uh, goes with um, and has no sack to stand up to you so yeah um it's pathetic you guys who voted to support this bozo are to blame fully before biden we had the cheapest gas going we had the biggest economy going in the world um the united states was basically self-sufficient on its own oil supply um guys and there's no inflation. There's no spending of money, trillions, like it's going out of style to implode the country. Because there's no need. The economy was booming. It's pathetic. Um, and guys, I'm extremely worried. Because if, uh, you know, Mike Lindell's uh, Supreme Court case gets thrown out, or dismissed that means good luck on voting to correct things in the future because it's not going to happen
Democrats will win every single time here on out because they stole it from Trump the first time. You think they're going to quit it, Trump? And that'll be it? <laughs> I got a lot of lakefront property to sell you on the moon, if you believe that. So they stole your vote. They stole your say. And now they're stealing the country right in front of you, keeping you masks, keeping your kids masked, while they implode the country and put everybody on welfare. Every, every place I go to t into town uh, has a help wanted sign. Because nobody wants to work because they're getting the welfare handout from the government. What's that going to do to everything? Destroy it. It's not good. We're not in a good sh shape. The tiny house is not in a good shape because I had to go in and repair everything. We're, we're getting back there slowly, but we're in trouble, guys. We're in a lot of trouble with this uh, whole situation. And if, we're, if our politic, uh, if our good politicians and military doesn't wake up to the fact that this shit was stolen, and these people got to go to prison immediately, then it's over for both my country and your country. So like I've been harping on in my previous prepping videos, you got to get off the grid, self-sufficient, and even that's not going to be enough, guys, because eventually they're, they're already training to take over town, cities, and places out in the country like homesteads. The military is currently training for this. You can go look that up. So guys, you can go you can go way off the grid and all that, but unless you're super hidden, they're going to find you. So I believe this was entirely a chink takeover. Um they basically what happened? Trump had China by the nuts with tariffs when he was in office. They, you guys were making so much money off of China, it was unreal. China could not do anything about it. Except they pulled the trigger on you know what, the sickness that's continuing, continuing to go on and on and on. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but China isn't vaccinating a single goddamn person over there. A lot of countries are probably not either. And there's a lot of stuff going, weird stuff going on. Um, salt water is being injected into people, or saline's being injected to people, posing as the vaccine. Something's going on. I'm still not going to get it and I'm just fine and dandy still um, if I do get it I have my protocols that I'm gonna take and you if you guys watch my channel you probably know what those are if you want me to make a complete video on just those I will leave it in the comments below maybe it'll help you guys if you've messed out on my earlier videos things are getting crazy I'm trying to do the best I can here with a very tight, limited budget, and I'm, I'm going to say it again. I appreciate all my Patreon members because they're the only ones keeping me going on this project right now. Um, it is what it is. Without you guys, this project will be over real quick. So just keep that in mind, guys. And if you guys want to continue to see videos from me and continue to help out, become a Patreon member. One dollar a month. That's it. I wish half my subscribers were Patreon members, because then you'd never hear me advertising for getting more Patreon members, period, ever. If I had that permanent, oh my god, I'd be sad. I'd be a lot better shape, too. But I'm, I'm sneaking around, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting stuff slowly done. I got this whole wall section done at the off-grid tiny house. I gotta finish this section. I still got to cut up the subfloor in the bathroom. 
and check for the damage there. And if anything I have to replace, I got to replace. I'm thinking about buying polyurethane and coating that entire bathroom floor back there for any future possible water leakage. Because wood and water don't mix is what it is. So those are in the in the plans, guys, and that all need that all takes money to do so. Okay. Now, currently, the only money I've spent so far from the Patreon members is to buy the uh, clips or the wire clips that I needed to that I will be using to run all my wiring throughout the tiny house. It's a necessity. Cleans things up, I can run both, all of my wires down the chases, no problem. That's that's a necessity. That's the, And the rest I'm saving, guys, because at this point, things are looking so grim, it's unreal. Now, I'm really happy for my uh, good buddy Mike, One Acre Homestead. You guys can check him out on Gab. You can check him out on YouTube. I, I guess he's back on there. His place turned out great so far. He's just getting in, involved. He's got his own property, his own land. He's set. He's set for life, for retirement and beyond. Off the grid. He did a great, fantastic job. Now I started way before him and I'm, I, my job's a mess. I didn't come in with a plan. I don't have my own land. At least my rent is affordable at $50 a month. And uh, it's too bad I ran into all these issues, but it is what it is, guys. I don't have any experience, experience building houses. I don't have any experience with tiny houses. I'm doing this all on the fly, learning as I go. I'm not looking anything up online either. I'm getting friendly, helpful advice in the comment section from people, and that's it. Now people are going to say, Rob, why didn't you look all this stuff up? Well, first of all, half the stuff people recommend, get the wallet out, okay? This is a tight, tight budget at this project. If I was making $100 plus on Patreon a month, okay, I could do that. Now, I was at one point with uh, Yupper, my... Uh, uh, that was my biggest donor so far on uh, Patreon, and I appreciate him because he was able to afford me one more of these expensive batteries, the lithium iron phosphate batteries. He actually, with his donate, with his support, financial support, actually bought me a secondary one, which has gotten me here today, where I'm running off the grid air conditioning right now still, and we have an overcast condition right now. It's, it's on the verge of rain. It's very humid. The only thing I'm running is the air conditioner and uh, that, for, that fan down there is the inverter, obviously, to keep the inverter cool. So I'm only running the air AC in here right now. I'm not running anything else because I can't right now because of the weather. Um, it is what it is. So I'm trying to get rid of all the humidity inside the tiny house to make it comfy for me for my stay over tonight. It's Friday. But guys, really frustrated with what's going on. Um, I can't change it myself. I can only prepare for it. And you can only prepare so much at this point. Things are gone downhill. If we don't, if we're just going to lay down and not kick these people out of office that obviously stole this. Um, if you guys don't believe that they stole this, you missed out the three-day symposium Mike Lindell put on with all the experts showing all the evidence that they have. And this is what they're going to present to the Supreme Court. Um, and if the Supreme Court dismisses this whole thing, dude, um, voting's over. There's no point in the future. Um, getting off the grid is about your best bet and that's only going to last you so long to be self-sufficient because other than that you're going to be taxed to death we're already being flooded with so many foreigners that it's a joke and they're still talking about all these variants yet the southern border is wide open with foreigners and they're just releasing them out into the public they say they're testing them and quarantining them yeah right they're releasing these people out into the public, guys. It's on video. 
They're tra it's it's government level trafficking going on right now. And for them, this is fantastic because they're Satanists. They're into the, they're pedos. They're Satanists. So they use all these kids and people for their their little rituals, whatever the hell they do. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not getting into it. But this is the people that you voted in for office. Now, you know, 80% of the people did not vote for these people in office. The, the leftist liberals that drank the Kool-Aid that can't be saved voted these people into the office. And they're now experiencing the hell that the rest of us are experiencing. And it's not going to be good. It's not a good future. I'm glad, to be honest, I'm glad I'm not raising kids right now. Because holy hell, you want to send your kid to, with a mask on to school all day and breathe in that diaper? I don't think so, guys. Do you want to have your kid forcibly uh, jab with the shot? I don't think so. Things are brutal. This is like emergency alert from Rob. Wake the F up, people. Okay? Now, you can, you can just be laughing at me, whatever. Hey, when it gets to your turn, don't worry. Um, I've, I've, I've warned you already, so you'll figure it out sooner or later. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's all up to you. But um, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. China should actually be a crater right now, guys, from the damage they've done. People still can't buy cars because of the microchip situation. Okay? People can't afford gasoline prices right now. People can't people don't want to work because they're getting welfare handouts and leaving all these businesses to crumble because they can't get enough staff to run the place. Afghanistan's falling back apart of again because of Biden. Yet again. Unbelievable crap by the Democrats. They passed that uh, trillion dollar infrastructure bill that has like 2% infrastructure in it and the rest is social programs for BLM and all this other crap. Green New Deal and all this garbage. Um, guys, we are in high alert, in trouble, get ready. And not to mention, depopulation program is going on full swing if you got the shot. This shit is crazy, dude. Um, there's something called cryons. I believe that's what they're called. Basically, it's an offshoot of mad cow disease in the shot. Within five to ten years, you'll be, grow you'll be growing full-blown cryons throughout your body. And it's crystals, basically. Um, and it's going to lead to, you know, heart attacks, strokes, brain damage, on and on and on. The list goes on. It's, in, it's insane. Um, anybody in the comments can correct me on the pronunciation of that uh, word. Cryons, I believe it's called. Prions, cryons, it's, I think it's, it's spelt with a P or a PC, something like that. Whatever, it's happening. Um, I just watched a terrific video of kids under 10 getting forced with the jab by nurses. Horrendous. Uh, where's the Nuremberg Code? Where is the Justice Department? There's no... The Justice Department is, there's no rule of law, guys, or these people would be prosecuted, and the prosecution for corro corrosion of experimental vaccines is the death penalty. death penalty. That's the minimum that'll happen to you. Okay? What the hell? Where is our local law enforcement? Where's the Justice Department not enforcing these laws? Apparently, the Canadian... Justice Department is based off of the Nuremberg Code, yet look what's happening here. We got a goddamn joke of a government going on, and they're calling the election here um, shortly for Canada, and that'll be another joke.
because we do use those machines and they're counting on mail-in ballots yet again guys oh go figure they got to drag out the boogeyman to keep this mail-in ballot thing going as long as possible it is a crime against humanity and if we don't get anybody in who's ready to kick ass in china then we're done as a country guys they're going to take over they're laughing at us right now because right now we are completely on our knees weak being destroyed by them while while paying them for product so we're going down the toilet they're taking all our money to china and they're shooting us some chinese crap over here um chinese product over here to keep us unaware and, and happy for now until that gets, supply gets cut off and then it's game over and then it'll be free reigning communism throughout and guess what guys it'll be too late by then so things are looking grim unless people start kicking some major ass and it's not happening i'm not seeing it um though there is you know they're saying the saline and salt water injections that are going on is actually staff that are getting the vaccines, dumping the vaccines or destroying the vaccines and then just getting saline and injecting people with saline and giving them their vax card saying they've been vaccinated. So there's a lot of weird shit going on. I'm going to have to start swearing again because things are getting too insane. But that's what's going on right now, guys. Crazy stuff. Crazy. It's just insane, and I got to keep on it and see what happens next. But like I said, um, looks like it's getting a little brighter out here. So we got 25 amps coming in at the moment. Should be around 50, 40. But um, we got about half of that because it's still overcast conditions. So I got to charge up this camera and end this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Prepare, guys. Prepare.